my name is Annie Domingo and the first book I'm going to look at and talk about is Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. This is one of my favorite books and as you can see it's well read with all the markers, markers on it. I've had it a long time and I go back to it from time to time because I think that the story and the whole ethos of the book is very much um, part of what I believe in and um, what I like to read. The book um, was written in 1958 and it's based on a guy, brave guy called Okonkwo, uh, an Igbo guy. And the whole story is about, well it's in three parts. The first part is a his history, who this man is, his culture, the culture of, of the Igbos. Then the second part is about the missionaries coming and how they try to change these people. And then the whole ethos of Christianity. And it's a book about what do we believe in? And how do we, when do we stand up for what we believe in? How do we fight to hold on to what is our, the core of us? Um, this was one of the first African literature books and what I like about the book is the fact that it, although it's written in English, it brings in quite a lot of Igbo words and there's, there was a lot of controversy about whether the book should have been written in English or what language we should write in and Chinua Achebe says that, you know, he was taught in English, he's talking about the English trying to absorb, to take over Africa, and he wanted to use it in their own language so that they understood what was going on and how the Africans felt about it. It wasn't writing it for, it was returning the gaze, looking at what they had seen about Africa and how Africa saw them. And that's what I, lo I love about the book, the fact that it doesn't, um, it, it, it's very truthful. It doesn't make any excuses. It's not making any. It's not making any judgment. It is saying this is what it's about, and how can they come over to Africa and feel that they can wipe away our culture, our language, and we have to absorb them, and then they rule us. Yeah. There isn't much I don't like about this book, actually, because I, I, I love the way that different things are sorted out. The, uh, the way he takes on board that he has done wrong. If there's anything I don't like about it, it's really the way that um, the white people are, are not always um, sh given the opportunity to, to show the worst of them, <laughs> you know, in, in some ways we see how low Okonkwo can go, we don't see how low the white people can go. So that to me it's slightly one-sided in that sense. However, we do see that they hang him at the end. We see the brutality, but we don't, we don't see the way that their mind work that leads them to that. But then, on the other hand, we're looking at it from the African, from Okonkwo's point of view. So he would not necessarily understand or be psychological about the way they were coming from, the, the white people, the English people are coming from. He's just looking at the effects on themselves and how it pushes him to do something that was very wrong and that he had to pay the price for it. And Things Fall Apart, I'm going to give five star because I think it's a book that everybody should read. It's a book about African literature. It's a book that tells you about our culture, our people, and about the way that um, the English people tried to change us, but Okonkwo refused to be changed.